Hello Linux fans, Rob here. Welcome to Linux Quest and as always thank you for watching. About three days ago I did a video showing off the new Arc menu extension for the GNOME desktop or GNOME desktop if you prefer. Uh, so after that video I had a, a request and then a follow-up email from a different individual asking me how I got everything set up in that particular video with the Arc menu. So I want to go ahead and step through that process and I've done videos like this in the past with the GNOME desktop stepping through how to configure different extensions and set the desktop up in various ways but I thought it would be just kind of fun to go back through the process with the Arc menu and just kind of illustrate how I got that set up with the bottom panel and that sort of thing. So we're going to step through that. So this is pretty much how you would see uh, the GNOME desktop booting in for the first time with the exception of the wallpaper here and again this is Carl Snyder's wallpaper everyone knows I'm a huge fan of of his work but for the most part you're gonna see a layout here with a dock on the left and an activities button here at the uh, top which will take you into kind of a full screen with multiple desktop options and a quick search so that's how you're gonna see things kinda of out of the box if you will this top panel there's not much you can do with it here uh, it's kind of what it is uh, as, as you boot in and there's really no configuration for it but we're going to step into several extensions I want to point out one of the things you may need to do and uh, it depends on you know what browser you're using if you go to the default uh, or in most cases the default for most distros Firefox um, you may need to go in and ex install the GNOME shell extension. Now I use Chromium and so what I did was I installed the Chrome GNOME shell extension through the um, repositories within Interagos. That's what I have loaded here. So um, once you've got that set up you can then uh, quickly toggle on or off your extensions which we're going to step through here um, as we go through the process. So, um, hopefully you will have, depending on your distribution, hopefully you'll have the tweak tool pre-installed. If not, that is something else that you'll want to set up within the GNOME desktop, the tweak tool. So we're going to go into the tweak tool and there will be several categories here on the left. And you'll step from appearance to desktop down to extensions. Now the number and and uh, type of extensions that are in place out of the box so to speak will depend on the distribution that you have installed. I'm going to step through and first of all we're going to take a look at dash to dock which may or may not be turned on or may or may not be installed for you. So the first thing that a lot of people will do is they'll default to some of their favorite extensions. Um, Dash to Dock is certainly one of those extensions that's very popular. Uh, and there'll be a few other extensions in place. Sometimes you'll see Places Indicator, um, Status Indicator, as well as the Application Menu. Um, a lot of times those are some of the default extensions that are in place. But if they're not, uh, no worries. We're going to scroll down to the very bottom under the Extensions category and we're going to click on Get More Extensions. That will launch you into the GNOME Extensions website. And I want you to think of the GNOME Extensions as um, additional ways to modify uh, and alter the GNOME desktop to match maybe a setup or a layout that is either a more comfortable for you or just more familiar or it's just simply something that you want to put in place that makes doing whatever it is you do within the desktop easier because there's a mix of extensions here everything from um, application menus to uh, weather applets to sound and input there's just a, a plethora of really creative extensions in here. For example, I'm using Easy Screencast extension to record this video and it makes makes for a very easy way to integrate screen capture right within the GNOME desktop. So that's just one example. And the extensions are continuing to get more powerful. Um, they're improving all of the time and they add a tremendous amount of functionality to the default GNOME desktop. 
All right, so we're going to focus in on a couple of extensions that I've installed. So to in install an extension, and we'll go to one here that I hopefully don't have set up, just to illustrate how easy it is to install an extension. So here we have open weather, and you've got a toggle switch here. And you'll see this if you've got your GNOME shell extension set up properly within Chrome or Chromium or Firefox. Otherwise, you're going to get a message here telling you, telling you that you need to install that extension within the browser in order to access this toggle here. So to install this, you simply turn it from off to on. And you'll get a pop-up. So you go ahead and agree to install. And then, bam, that quickly we now see a weather extension in place. So you can go through this process with any of the extensions. One thing that I really like is that there is kind of a rating system in place. You'll see lots of comments from people explaining, you know, good and bad about the extension, uh, their experience. You'll typically see a description here of what all uh, the extension will do for you. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that out. Now, I've pre-installed some of my favorite extensions, and so we're going to go through the process of setting it up the way I had it earlier in the video about three days ago when I was showing the Arc menu. All right, so we'll go ahead and move up. I'm going to toggle off Dash to Dock, and you'll see that the dock disappears but I'm going to turn on another very popular extension called Dash to Panel. Now we've turned that on and you'll see immediately you've got a panel here at the bottom and then within that Dash to Panel you'll have settings. As long as you see this gear icon that means you have additional settings. And now I've got other videos where I go in and I adjust and make all of the changes to Dash to Panel I go through all of the steps here in all the various categories of options that are available for this extension. So please go back and look at that video on Dash to Panel. It's in the Gnome Quest series. I'm going to keep moving here for the sake of time in the video and not kind of covering things that I've covered before. All right, so with that said, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and move on. The next thing I'm going to turn on is the new Arc Menu extension. So now we have that on, and you'll notice here that we've got now the Arc menu in place. Now there are no options within the Arc menu. It's kind of what you see is what you get currently. Um, that may change, so there may be an update. And there are several ideas that I would have for this particular extension. For example, I'd love the ability to go in and adjust the font size. And that's because from theme to theme, uh, the fonts change and sometimes as you see here in activities overview it doesn't show everything. It also be nice to have an option to go in and remove any of the main categories that you're not using. So I'm not using for example education or program currently and that would just shorten up the list here. Otherwise it's a terrific extension. It's a great start. I see a lot of potential for this. And so basically those are the simple changes that I made um, to get this all set up. Now I'm going to go ahead and because this weather here is kind of out of place, I'm going to go ahead and turn that extension back off. As soon as I find it, let's see here. Okay, I've lost that extension. Let me scroll down through here one more time. Okay, for whatever reason, it's not showing up right now. So we're going to go ahead and close that out. And I'll go back into the Tweak tool, back over to Extensions. And now let's see if that is actually showing up. There we go. Sometimes you have to do that with extensions before you see them. And you'll notice here you've got options as well. So we're going to go ahead and just toggle that off. And that move, removed the weather extension. Now you can choose other extensions that you would set up in this panel as well. You just have to be mindful that continuing to add various extensions may kind of clutter the bottom bar. And so you want to experiment with what works. Uh, there are adjustments that I would make here that would you know, decrease the font size, uh, things like that. And um, then you can place your favorites. Uh, along the bottom here. So hopefully that helps uh, you folks who were interested in how I got this all set up within the GNOME desktop. I think it makes for a clean, intuitive 
uh, desktop experience, really. Uh, if you come from a Windows background, uh, this, I think, will be familiar to you. It's you know pretty close to what you would find in Windows 7. And uh, as my buddy Rocco said, he felt like it was kind of close to the uh, Cinnamon application menu as well. So if you're familiar with the Cinnamon desktop, maybe this will be something that you kind of have muscle memory for. Uh, but hope this helps. And uh, if there's any other request involving the GNOME desktop, let me know. I'll have this installed on one of my partitions for a while. So uh, may do another, um, you know, new find on extensions for the GNOME Quest series. But if you've got a favorite that you'd like for me to look at in extensions, please share that because I love doing videos on these extensions. It just opens up a tremendous amount of potential for the GNOME or GNOME desktop. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we will check you later.